Today on All Things 80s, it's the 10 pence mixed bag. Welcome back to All Things 80s. Now, if you grew up in the 80s in the UK, this should be a very familiar sight. This is the 10 pence mixed bag. Now, what do I mean by a 10 pence mixed bag? Well, as children, we were given money each day when we went to school, possibly 10 pence, unlikely to be more back in those days, but for me, it was 10 pence. And after school, we had this little corner shop, maybe a couple hundred yards from the school. Initially, it was called Pinkman's and it changed hands and then it was called Andrea's, but it was basically a, a candy store sweet shop that sold you know, newspapers and canned foods, but primarily they sold a lot of candy. And we would go in and we'd ask for a 10 pence mixed bag, which was 10 pence worth of mixed sweets, mixed candy. So I've managed to track down a lot of the old favorites of mine, not all of them, but a lot. And I managed to get hold of some paper bags like this, which was the exact size. And thinking back, it was a pretty unhygienic process because as well as selling sweets and whatnot, she also sold a lot of newspapers. And the lady that owned the store, her hands were always black from the newsprint from handling all the newspapers. And we would go in for a 10 pence mixed bag and say, I want one of those, one of those, one of those, one of those. And she would just use her dirty hands and put them into one of these white paper bags. We didn't care back then. There were no health and safety issues. There were no, I guess, sanitary regulations. It was just food, it was just candy. We didn't care. So like I said, tracked down a lot of my favorites, not all, but a great deal I've managed to find. And I put them into this white paper bag to recreate the classic 10 pence mixed bag. Now, before I go any further, I have to add that in today's money, this was a hell of a lot more than 10p. So with that in mind, let's go ahead. So first up, what do we have? We have the foam shrimp. Now this, the size of this, I can tell you right now, is not a case of me looking back with the memories of a child with small hands. This is absolutely tiny. It's almost offensive just how small this thing is. But don't worry, it, it wasn't shrimp flavor. It was just a, a foam, let me see, break this open. It's like a foamy, it's not gummy, but it's chewy and it was what? Oh my God, sweet. Um, not fruity, but it was just what it is. It's just a foam shrimp. I honestly can't tell you what flavor that is. It's, it's sweet, but it's not fruity. Next up was the, the mushroom. And this might be similar in size to how I recall it. Again, it's the same sort of texture as the uh, shrimp, maybe slightly softer. And you know what, I'm gonna try some of this. I don't wanna eat all of these right now because it's, it's close to tea time. I don't wanna spoil my appetite. But anyway, here we go. Bit of a foam mushroom. Yeah. No, it's, it's sour. Um, not how I remember those. Not one of my favorites, but it's okay. This one, ah, jelly ring. And it's like a, a piece of fine jewelry, except you could actually wear this, or you could back in my time, that it was big enough to put on your finger. And again, I'm not going back to, you know, mixing up memories with adult hands and child hands. This is just too small. I don't believe a child's finger would fit through that. Um, just your sort of typical, I guess in 
today gummy worm type uh, consistency and it smells like gummy worms of these days so yeah it's it's similar to what I had just not quite the same uh, I've got to get to some of the famous ones one of which is this the flying saucer these were a love-hate type sweet you either loved them or you hated them and I was verging towards the hate side of things if you think of the uh, material they make the styrofoam egg cartons from that's what this feels like looks like and I imagine if you put the egg carton in your mouth it's what it would feel like but with inside this weird shell I don't even know what it's made from obviously it's an edible type substance but you hear that it's 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 basically egg carton with some acidic sugar inside but uh, this one I'm going to try take one for the team I did not enjoy these as a child but I am happy to see that they still exist in this day and age so this is the flying saucer and it's exactly as I remember it it's not a pleasant experience why next up what have we got here ah Parma Violets this was an interesting one this was probably love it or hate it as well these were it was like a roll of tiny little circular tablets and in this instance the Parma Violet it was a flowery um, taste uh, it's probably just compressed sugar but let me see, see. Ha! Yep. Hasn't changed a bit. It's the exact same flavor as it was when I was a child. And this one I kind of liked. There was one similar, which I think we'll get to. But I think this was one that I, I would probably have asked for in my mixed bag. And I'm happy that it tastes as it did back in the 80s. Next up, what we got here? Fried egg. Um, once again, the size has gotten to be quite tiny. Same uh, texture, consistency as the shrimp, the mushroom. So this one, I'll give it a little taste. Oh my God, it's true. Yeah lemon sort of flavor yeah that's how I remember that one even though it's tiny it still tastes the same uh, next up okay I think this was called double lolly don't hold me to that but the color doesn't look the same but the I think the size and the, I'm hoping the consistency that it's made from is as it was. I'm sure it will be. It was, I think again, like compressed sugar and acidic flavoring type stuff. Uh, yeah, this definitely looks to be the same size. Uh, I don't want to eat this right now, but this was one that was very popular. And if I remember rightly, it had a very chalky consistency. So it was like sucking on a piece of chalk, but it was fruity. So that was okay. Ah, teeth. Now this one is farcical. This is um, teeth. You can see the gums and the teeth. But when I was a child, it was big enough in fact, it was probably bigger than a child's mouth. So you could actually take one of these and put them over your teeth and pretend to be... Who was that presenter? Uh, was it Esther Ranson had the big teeth? Anyway, they were big enough that 
you could replicate real teeth with them. So this is absolutely tiny, but they did get the color right. The, it feels right and Mm -hmm. Okay. The texture is way too soft and the taste is completely different. You know, close, but not really. What else? Um, okay, here's one. This is, they called it a chew it. Now, <clears throat> I'm old enough to remember the half pence coin. So what that means is when I was buying these, we were able to get sweets for half a pence. Now, when you see loose change lying on the pavement, the sidewalk, if you see a penny or a two pence piece, in America, a one cent coin, you just tend to walk past that. You're like, ah, it's only a cent, it's only a penny. When I was a child, if you saw a penny on the street, you would grab that penny because you could get two of these because these were half a pence each. And chewits also came in uh, packets with maybe 10 or 12 of them. But smart shopkeepers realized they could open the packet put them on display with the uh, other mixed bag items and sell them to unsuspecting children. So this one I believe is strawberry. Chewits, I vaguely remember there being a banana flavor and I think there was a green one, but I did love Chewits. Let's see if this is how it was. Size looks to be about the same. And texture is the same. And flavor, I think, is pretty much as it was. So happy with that. Excuse me. Oh my God. Extremely chewy, hence the name Chew It. This one, this is a, a pair of lips up here. However, this is not anything like I remember. We had a thing called ch cherry lips, I think, which were much smaller, darker red in color, and were not at all soft. Like this is quite soft. So these are not what I'm expecting, but let's see if they taste like cherry. Nope. It's just that generic sweet flavor. It's, I mean, it's not unpleasant, but it's not a cherry lip. Mm. Drumstick lollipop. First impressions are, it's exactly as I remember it. Exactly. Same wrapper, same font on the logo, drumstick, and same sort of bent uh, presentation. I'm gonna try this because this was one I loved. And these lasted a long time because they were extremely uh, chewy, stretchy. Uh, I hope it's gonna be the same recipe but we never know until we try. Uh, looks the same, which is promising. Uh, I, you can't tell from smelling these. Tastes the same. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy this later because it's quite a, a long process, a long stretchy process, but survived exactly as it was. Perfect. Uh, next up, ah, the classic cola bottle. These were always available in the 10 pence mixed bag. And again, when I was in primary one, primary two, maybe as high as primary three, 
we still had the half pens. So these were the half pens each. So two of these for one pence for a penny. Mm. Tastes the same. Excellent. Yeah, I'm happy. Mm. Okay, this one, fizzers, which were very similar to the Parma violets, which were flowery in uh, taste. These were just fizzy, maybe a little bit sour. Let's see. Take, I'll take two of these. I'll be daring. So two of these at once. And actually, some kids would just open the packet, pour the whole lot in their mouth. Not me. Yeah. Exactly as I remember them. Packaging is pretty much as it was. It's good to see they've kept some tradition there. Yeah, very nice. Um, next up, foam banana. Now this is ridiculous because the foam bananas I had, one, were straight, there was no curve, and two, they were probably a good two, two and a half inches long. This thing is microscopic. Uh, texture is the same, but taste. Huh, yeah. Mmm. It tastes the same, so that's good. Okay, two more pieces. The milk bottle, similar to the cola bottle, but this one was just a creamy, a creamy sort of milky flavor. Uh, yeah, looks the same, feels the same. And yeah. Yeah, it tastes the same. And last of all, this was the expensive piece. Uh, but this is by Chupa Chups, which didn't exist when I was young. But for the most part, all the items I've shown so far were either one pence or half a pence. If my memory serves me well, I believe these were five pence, which is a melody pop. Now, this is your sort of typical boiled candy lollipop with a twist. Uh, I'm hoping this is gonna be as it was because it's more than just a piece of candy. Uh, it certainly sculpted the right way. Now, hang on, this is all new to me. I don't know what this part means. But I don't know if you can see, but it's sculpted in the shape of a whistle. And if this goes to plan, it works as a whistle. But what does this thing do? Wow, fantastic. Okay, I'm very much of the mindset that things were better back in the 80s. They actually improved on something from the 80s because we did not have this mechanism to uh, change the pitch. So on the one hand, you get a delicious piece of candy, delicious sweet. You also get a musical instrument Yes, this is cool. Um, yeah, did not expect that. I'm happy with this. That is, that's innovation used in a good way. They've actually enhanced something from the 80s. I've always been bitching about stuff being better when I was a kid. They've actually improved on something when I was a kid. So there we have it. That was a typical Mixed bag. Um, I always bought the 10 pence mixed bag. That was my limit as a child. This one was probably a hell of a lot more than 10 pence. 
But the point remains that as childs in the 80s, childs, children of the 80s, we were very content, very happy to spend 10 pence of our own money, our own pocket money, to get this bag filled with sweets, with candy, whatever the hell you call it, and eat them on the way home from school and be very happy indeed. So I hope you enjoyed watching this because I sure as hell enjoyed making it. And if you did enjoy it, please do like, please subscribe and see you in the next video.